Hi, my name is M. Dhaneshekra and uh, welcome to this database lessons video series. In this video, we will talk about how to use SQL Developer. So I'm going to give you an overview of SQL Developer. And uh, we have seen how to install SQL Developer in the previous video. Okay, so when you the reason why I'm talking SQL Developer is SQL Developer is a free tool that comes along with uh, Oracle database installation software file. So, uh, you know, anyone who wants to learn about Oracle can download and use it. Okay. So, now, after invoking SQL Developer, you would see a screen like this. Right. So in this pane, you would see the number of connections listed. It's kind of like your file uh, uh, Windows Explorer, where you see the drive names here or folders here. So but then once you click, then you would see connection being established here. So for example, I go there and then I'm just... Uh, expanding that plus button so it's logging into the database and then it presents me a worksheet okay and then if I type a query and then if I execute that right it will present me with a query uh, window a uh, result window okay let me pull down this message in the down. So this is how it works. You may have a question. When I expanded this plus button, how did it connect automatically? Okay. So for that, we need to set up the connection uh, before I know uh, before this connection to show up here. So what I did was, you know, let me just go to the property. I'm, I did a right click, and then went to the property so what I did was initially I went and clicked this plus okay that means I'm gonna add a connection okay so once I clicked it presented me with this screen and I specified a name for the connection since I'm going to connect to the demo DB I just kept the name appropriately demo DB but then again you can keep it whatever name you want and then I specify the username and then I specify the password and then I uh, enabled save password so meaning that the password is saved and then in the connection type I chose TNS there are different connection types uh, but then I chose TNS because I've already copied the TNS names.rf file into the location you may wanna if you have any questions you may wanna look at the the, the previous video which is how to install SQL developer in Windows 7 okay and then uh, uh, role I left it default uh, there are two options one is you know you just leave it default second one is you choose sysdba this is a special role this is kind of like you now whoever who has this role they are like they can do anything right uh, one step uh, above uh, the DBA role uh, you know, uh, they can do anything but then uh, if anyone to connect to the database using sysdba then they need to specify okay connect me as sysdba I'll explain this later okay and then since I chose TNS within the TNS I already have the TNS.rf file remember TNS names.rf file within that I have a connect string uh, to connect to demo DB so it shows that connect string here right so if I have uh, other connect strings like now uh, in a typical organization there could be more than one Oracle databases so they would show up here as long as they are in the TNS names data okay so I chose this and then uh, I saved it and before saving you know I would just do a test so if I do a test you know it shows success so and then I saved it okay so after saving it it would show up here so the next time I'm gonna hit cancel here okay so the next time when I open 
SQL developer it's gonna open with the screen that I showed uh, during the start of this video then if I go and uh, expand it you know since my username and password is already saved it's gonna expand that and it's also it also will open uh, uh, a worksheet it's called a SQL worksheet okay so that's the basic here you type in the queries and then you would expect the results in the query result so for example I typed in this query and then I got this result and I can also type you know this is kind of like a uh, notepad where you know I can keep on typing uh, other commands also okay so there are two commands if I hit this button it's gonna run both the commands okay okay but then what I can do is like now I can just select this one and I can run it or I can select this one if I run it it will run it okay thank you for watching